overall deliberation, an action plan was adopted and read in a communique to the press. We, the leaders of various youth groups in the Southeast, present here today, wish to state as follows that we are in total support of all the position conversed by Senator Ike Ekoremado, Southeast Governors, and the leadership of Ohanez and Dibu, that we condemn vehemently the unguided utterances coming from the Arewa youth, especially the quick notice given to Igbos to vacate the North come October 2017 and other hate speeches capable of throwing Nigeria into a very serious crisis. That the federal government of Nigeria must be extremely proactive at ensuring that the life, the life and properties of all Igbos living anywhere are safe and protected after October 1st, 2017. As the loss of a single life or property owing to the threat of Arewa youth will leave us with no option than to abandon the peaceful approach of our belief in the Nigerian experiment. And also that failure of governors at all levels to address the plight of Igbo youth will lead to a massive agitation for Biafra. a night for us, parents or adults. This is a night for the young adults. Can you imagine Mama sitting down, taking a back seat for the first time? You know, Mama is always agitated. Now, and watch your generation and your generation yet unborn. Under the president, good luck, Jennifer. You know, Nigeria. So what do you think, in as much as Mama and you see how well she spoke about, you know, striving so hard, gaining some things for the people of Nigeria, because she's not only working for the older people, but for the younger generation, as she's been mentioning. So what do you think about all these things that has been mentioned this evening? Well, you know, Mama has a very energetic energy. Uh, she's very um, driven. And when you come around her, you, you, you're bound to catch some of that spirit. But she called me and said I should come, I came, and um, incidentally we didn't have the time to go through the panel session, which was the session I was supposed to moderate. But um, I'm glad I'm here to see um, what happened, and uh, I, I will continue to do the best I can on my own to further the uh, advancement of the Nigerian uh, agenda. Okay, so based on everything that has been mentioned, how do you see, or what will you say about Good Luck Jonathan running for 2015? Oh, I, look, I went through the two-year, um, the material for the two-year program here, and it's quite impressive, and uh, you know, um, no one is perfect, but if you see someone who's doing well, you should encourage that person. I think he's doing well. Um, there are areas that can be amended, but also there are a lot of areas to be commended. So, um, to the best of my ability, I will try to encourage and try to support what I think is good for Nigeria. A brighter and better day. Oh, how would you analyze it to say that 
say um, he's fit for 2015. Well, so far, so good. He's doing a good job. I'm part of the Gula Support Group. And by the way, my name is Henry Okazu. And I'm the PRO for the Nigerian Lawyers Association. I'm also part of the Gula Support Group right here in USA. Um, good luck has done a good job. Let's look about the power reform in Nigeria. He has transformed that sector. The agri sector has been reformed and revamped. Now the race system in Nigeria has been reformed and revamped. And then Nigeria in diaspora are now invested in Nigeria. So all things being good, being equal, I think uh, he's doing a good job. And um, I think in um, 2015, he's going to have a good number of supporters on that day. What do you think about this night? Um, I'm really glad that I became part of this. You know, I'm really not into politics, but having to know who Jonathan is and the good things that he's been doing for Nigeria, I'm really a supporter right now. Jonathan has been very selfless, you know. This is the first time I've ever seen a president who really don't think of himself but working for the nation. That's so wonderful. You know, because I know you in the, the movie industry and the beck and call all tonight that I've been hearing is everybody needs to be a part to make Nigeria, you know, whatsoever the government is doing, a success. So what do you think? What's one advice that you could give to everybody that's in the movie industry? Based on what has been said today, what do you think you need to tell your people in the movie industry how to get involved in the Nigerian government? Really, um, we've already been involved even before now. You see some of the Nollywood stars taking up position, you know, taking up governmental posts, getting involved in politics, and being that Jonathan also is a very active person in the Nollywood. You know, financially he's helped Nollywood a lot for the first time. So we are part of him and we're definitely going to support him come 2015. We have been here, we spent looking at videos and listening to speeches of things that has been done in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How proud are you to talk about what this man, Mr. Goodluck Jonathan, has done? Oh, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the work that the president of Nigeria has been doing. Um, the work he's been doing, he, never, he didn't say the transformation agenda for nothing. It is a transformation agenda that has been moving Nigerians forward. And now for a lot of people, you know, a lot of us Nigerians who are here now and those who grew up in Nigeria, look, we remember the time when things were not going so well in Nigeria. So the president has not only done a wonderful job, um, but his work is not finished. So as Nigerians, I know most Nigerians, we are easy to criticize. And it's easy to criticize. So long as what you are criticizing him for, right, is valid. I'll give you an example. Nepal. In 1914, we never really had electricity. Now, we still have some of that problem now, but the president is doing everything he can to fix that system as a result of the privatization. When you hear people speak, they don't think that the issue of electricity just started yesterday. You know, that's something that has been happening for so long. The president understands all those things and he's doing as much as he can to make sure that every Nigerian has power. The fundamental agenda, what do you think about it tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, you know, obviously we came together tonight uh, to honor, you know, good luck Jonathan uh, and, and what he's doing in his presidency. Uh, as a member of the state of New York, um, I'm looking for opportunities to partner with people globally who are doing great things. Obviously, I have a lot of Nigerians in my district that I represent in the 21st district in Brooklyn. Uh, and so this is a great event because there's a lot of networking, uh, a lot of business opportunities that I think will be good for both the state of New York and the country of Nigeria. Uh, so I'm looking forward to you know great things happening from this. Okay, as a senator within the district, what are you going to say to the Nigerians? Because from a foreign person to a Nigerian about their own country, say something to them that will really inspire them about what you learned today. Oh, well, one of the things that I learned is that how much opportunity there is in Nigeria and how open the government is to doing business. Uh, and so I think that's going to be a great opportunity for all of us. And I think that um, people who are from Nigeria ought to reach out to me and suggest to me ways that the state of New York can partner with them uh, to have good trade and good other, other good opportunities uh, with Nigeria.
know that you were the organizer for this wonderful event. Thank you. So, um, what was your thought putting this event together? And what was the motive, the aim and goal for this event? I think for me, it was really about helping to evangelize all the great things that President Gulak has been doing for Nigeria. And I think, you know, we as Nigerians in the diaspora, we owe it to ourselves to continue to become brand ambassador of, for the country as well as for the president, especially with the launch of the transformation agenda. I feel like this is the first time a president of a great country like Nigeria is really putting, really thinking about all the different sectors and the things that needs to change in those sectors and putting it in motion and making it and stealing it upon his administration to really de deliver on there. So if you're a minister of finance, you have a responsibility to cultivate economy. So I was very proud to do this because of an, I'm a Nigerian and because I love the president. I love what he's doing for Nigeria. That's so very good, so inspiring. Two things that we have mentioned actually that were really emphasized on throughout this whole meeting. One was about, that really blew the mind of people, was the youth involvement. Yes. Because you, you know, you guys came together and put up a, you know, a video to show things that people might not even be thinking about. Yeah. And the second thing is that, you know, that wow the minds and it, it was an encouragement actually. It's for more people rather to get involved instead of being a critic. Right. So as a young lady, right? I want you to share your voice to the younger people, the younger generation, because it was mentioned by all the speakers for people to get involved in politics. Yeah. So what is your advice to the people out there who are Nigerians to get involved in the Nigerian politics? I think that, you know, I've, I've coined this phrase that says, you know, sustainability can only exist when there's collaboration, participation, and accountability. You know, we have to have an invested interest in moving our country forward. And it's not just Nigeria, any country you're part of. You know, I'm part of the United States and I'm doing things to kind of cultivate growth within my own community. And now that I'm even a diaspora Nigerian, I'm also doing things to cultivate. So what I say is, find an issue, find an area that you're passionate about, and do something. You know, take a voice in that. Not Nothing is little and nothing is big. You know, find out what's going on and be the ambassador, like I mentioned. Be the brand ambassador for the issues that you support and for the country that you come from. For a better land for all. Here we are. True adversities. We are one. I'm really humbled by this commendation, but it will continue to galvanize me to do more for my country and humanity. So today is being observed as Safer Internet Day. It is set aside to sustain efforts and advocacy for safe use of the internet for children and young people. As Child Online Protection Champion, I hereby make this call for action. ITU member states and sector members are requested to build expertise develop educational programs and curricula to address a safe and responsible use of the internet. Develop practical tools to help minimize risk to children and put in place measures that can address online safety. Put in place alerting mechanisms to tackle the growing threats to children as they browse the internet and access information online, balance privacy issues and policies related to freedom of speech with implementation of measures that can address online safety, and establish policies and appropriate effective frameworks which protect the use of private data and intellectual properties and discourage online
criminal activities. I call on stakeholders to restate their commitments to further promote international and domestic policies to improve child online safety. As a passionate advocate of the well-being of women and children, I believe that the safety of our children and youth requires us to work collectively considering their strategic importance in the future of our society. This is a call to play a key role on the global stage in the fight to protect our children from harmful practices in the cyberspace. I thank you.